What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. Okay, so today I have a really good clip to show you guys. This is Katie Porter. Uh, she is a representative out of Southern California, and she's going to be talking about basically corporate greed. She's going to be talking about inflation and, and uh, the, the situation that we've seen in the last couple of years. She's going to pull up a chart. She'll show you this. And then after that, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to pull up that same chart uh, because uh, she talks about it rather quickly, so you might miss some of this stuff. I know I missed some of the the information, and then when I actually started to look at it, then I started to understand. And so we're going to talk about this. Uh, when it comes down to corporate greed, and are we in a situation where we have corporations overcharging people in this time because of because we we just got out of a pandemic and and we're looking at inflation right now and they just use that as an excuse they say well the cost of everything is going up that's why we're charging you more but they're charging you even more than they should be charging you if we were looking at inflation at the rate it is right now so that's what we're going to talk about today but first off you guys can do me a favor please like the video subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification that way you get notified anytime i put out a video and then also click all when you click all that's when you'll get those notifications okay so i do daily videos so if you hit all you're going to get that notification you should be getting that notification every day if you are not getting the notification every day let me know in the comments below that way I will uh, reach out to YouTube again and talk with them and tell them, hey, this is the situation uh, that I'm having. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll play the clip first and then we're gonna talk about it. Here we go. According to this chart, what is the biggest driver of inflation during the pandemic? The blue, is the, the dark blue is the recent period. It would be corporate profits. And what is that percentage? It is 54%, and that number does stay that level of high if you update that number to more recent numbers as well. So over half of the increased prices people are paying are coming from increases in corporate profits. Yes, the unit price index is reflected in corporate profits as opposed to other costs. And how does that compare to historically to other periods of inflation or uh, over other periods of economic time? As reflected there and in other analysis, it is significantly higher in this recovery. 11.5%. And what is it today? 53%. Uh, so I want to make sure everyone in America understands this chart. What is a unit labor cost? The cost, wages and an associated right. work cost. So we could just wages. What is a non-labor input cost? Uh, a variety of things, including um, maintenance and, in, and investments. Okay. So I, I have to buy the, buy the stuff to make the widget. I have to have a factory. I have to keep the lights on. I have to hire someone to make the widget. That's this stuff. And this is what I add on, on top. Okay, so that was Katie Porter. Now, I want to pull up. Let, let's. I'm going to go ahead and do a side screen here so I can pull this back up. I want you guys to see what she was looking at. And we're going to go over some of this stuff because the first thing that I noticed right off the bat, and, we're, and when we're looking at this, and you see the light blue, that's from 1979 to 2019 average, right? And then when we're looking at the dark blue, that is 2020, okay? Uh, quarter two uh, to 2021, quarter four. So that is what the dark blue is. And the light blue, this was in the past, 2019 and before, uh, all the way down to uh, 1979. If you look at this, just look at kind of before you even look at the numbers and the percentages, just look at kind of how this goes, where you see it's almost it, it is the opposite. If I'm looking at the blue here, I'm looking at a long line here. I'm looking at another uh, longer line here. And then I'm looking at a short line here. Now, if you look at the light blue, it's the reverse. So it's a long line for the labor costs, and then a shorter line for the, the, you know, the maintenance. And then when it came to corporate profits, it's even a, a shorter line. So that's the first thing that we need to focus on, because that's very important. It just shows you kind of how uh, corporations have evolved uh, before they weren't as top heavy. All the money wasn't going to the top, uh, but now they're top heavy. All the money's going to the top. And so we do have to look at things when it comes to the the cost of things and the record profits. Let's talk a little bit about record profits because it is a little misleading because things cost more. So that means that people are paying more for things. And that means that the profits, 
these companies are they're they're making record profits because things cost more. But that's not the only reason. They're also hiking the price up 10%, 15% when we're looking at inflation at what? 8%, 9%. So what is the justification? Because if we're all getting hit pretty much the same way when it comes to inflation, and let's just say blanket 9%, we're all getting hit around that, that level. Well, then why are corporations raising their product prices up higher than 9%? Now, an argument can be made that, you know what, when it comes down to it, we might have to buy something that is 30% more, costs 30% more now, and that's why we have to sell our products at a higher price. And we can use an example, like let's say you're making cars and the cost of tires, is, there's a shortage, so the cost of tires is 30% more than, than they were uh, two years ago. And so now you have to pass that cost on to the consumer. And so that's your justification. I had to raise the prices up at that rate because I have to buy these tires that cost a lot more. So it's higher than the average inflation because it's a specialty item. It's not something that's kind of across the board average. Okay. So that makes sense to me, but we do have to face reality here. Uh, the, these corporations are, they're doing really well and they're doing really well in a time where people are struggling. And so what, what is going on and, and the reason why these corporations are talking about recession and they're talking about, uh, you know, potentially having to lay people off and, and preparing for, for, for this recession is because they know, they know that these prices are way too high and they're charging these people this much money and it's only a matter of time before people just say, you know what, I can't afford it. I can't buy these things anymore. I've run out of money. The stimulus checks are gone. And so then that's when we're going to be looking at a situation where these corporations are going to protect their assets by laying people off, protect the corporation by laying people off and downsizing. And so basically they're going to get in there, hike the rates up, charge you a lot of money for these products. And then when you can't afford those products anymore, they're going to lay off their workers and they're going to protect what they have. And so, I mean, it, it, it's, it's harsh to say it like this, but I mean, that, that's pretty much what we're looking at. I mean, I, I, I can't see it any other way. Like I said, I do understand kind of the, the, the whole profit thing, and it is a little misleading because, yes, the cost of everything is going up. So, of course, their, their profits are going to be higher than they were two years ago because of inflation, right? But we should see a balance. There should be a balance. It shouldn't be a record profits of 30% or 50% or you know crazy stuff like that. We should be seeing it at about the rate of inflation uh, overall. Uh, so we're going to have to just continue to follow this story. And it, it's, it's amazing to me because uh, the CEOs of these corporations, they get away with, with, uh, with doing things like this. And we will just blame the government. We'll just blame the president. We'll blame the president for all of our problems when it comes to inflation, but we never really look at these corporations and start to think, you know what? Are they really just hiking these prices up just because they can? Just because we're in a time right now where it makes sense? If, if, if people know that there's inflation out there, then a CEO can say, you know what? We have to raise prices because of inflation. And most people look at it and say, well, that makes sense. The CEO is raising prices because of inflation. It's Biden's fault. It's President Biden's fault for this inflation. And that's why we have to pay more. It's not these CEOs that are, that are raising the prices. When we need to look at, we need to look at everything. And that's where I think we, we, there's, there's a problem. And it's going to take people to stop buying products. But until then, they're going to continue to raise the prices. And it's just, I mean, it's really sad. And like I said, just look at the chart. The chart will tell you everything that you need to know. You don't even have to look at the percentages. Just look at the transformation from year over year. And you'll see like, wow, okay, yeah, this is completely different. This, this um, profit margin or this profit strategy is completely different than it was back in 1979 to 2019. We're now looking at uh, the complete opposite of what we were looking at before. And so I just wanted to put this video out just to let you guys know kind of 
uh, what, what's going on. And this is the Economic Policy Institute. That's where we got this information from. That's where Katie Porter got the information from as well. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty eye-opening when you look at it. Okay, There are a lot of different factors that play a role in inflation, but uh, corporations, they're helping out with inflation right now. They're helping out when it comes to raising the, the, the prices of everything, which uh, in turn is, is pretty much breaking the backs of, of Americans. So if you guys have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.